So today we're going to talk about four tips for keeping an aquarium in limited space. For those of you that have been following along, you know I live here in Shenzhen, China. I live in a studio apartment and as you can see I'm a pretty big guy squeezed into a small fish corner. I call the area where I work the fish corner. That is not an exaggeration. It is quite literally the corner of my apartment. So I'm going to share a couple of the things that I've learned about keeping an aquarium in such a confined space. The first thing I learned was that the aquarium needs to match the apartment. When you're working with such limited space, it's so obvious if something does not belong or if something stands out. So for example, my apartment, the walls are white. So I made sure to find an aquarium that had a white stand. If the aquarium doesn't match, you, you kind of get tired of looking at it. But if it does match, if it looks like it belongs to the apartment, it looks like it's part of the room, then you can actually start to enjoy it. Uh, I'm a very aesthetic guy. I like for things to match and for things to look good in a room. I can't really handle clutter or things that don't match. And that's amplified when you have a really small space. The smaller the space, the neater things have to be to look good. And when you're matching the tank to the space, you shouldn't always go for the biggest tank that will fit. That's not always the right choice. My original plan was to put 120 gallon behind this sofa here, but that was a no-go with Shelly. Mm -mm. When my plan to put 120 gallons right in the middle of the room failed, I decided, okay, I've got this fish corner here that I'm working with, so I am going to get a tank that goes from here all the way to the other side of the corner. It's going to take up the whole wall there. But then I got to thinking about it and I was like, well, if the tank's going to take up all the space, where am I going to sit? So what I decided to do was to go with this 20 gallon cube here so that I had enough room for me and my desk and a workspace. Sometimes a little five gallon tank on your desk looks a whole lot better than, you know, a 55 gallon against the wall. It just depends what you're working with. The size of the room, the shape of the room, the size of the tank, all of those are factors and you need to pick a tank that fits in with the space. Like this tank here is the biggest tank I could have put in this corner and it still looked normal. Anything bigger would have looked like, yeah, that guy's just trying to cram as big of a tank as he can into that space. Whereas this one, it looks like I thought about what I did before I put the tank in. The next thing that I recommend you do is go with a rimless tank. To me, uh, rimless tanks look bigger than they actually are. Uh, even though it might take up only a small space, it feels like you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. Um, the other reason I like rimless tanks is to me, it gives it a much neater look. I don't like to look at a lid of the tank. Uh, it kind of leaves the tank open and you can also look down into it, which is kind of fun when you have a saltwater tank. So I think rimless tanks are definitely better. Now you do run into a few problems with rimless tanks because there are lots of species of fish that are jumpers. So for example, in this tank, uh, I wanted to get a six line wrasse. But six line wrasse are known jumpers, so I wasn't able to put it in there because I didn't want to put a lid on there. So you are kind of a little bit more limited with fish, and in reality all fish can be jumpers if they get spooked, but I've never had any trouble with Bing Bing here. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, Bing Bing is the little clown fish that lives here in this tank. My third piece of advice, plants. Nothing makes a space look better or cleaner or homier than a couple of nice long viney plants like the one I've got here over my shoulder. And plants just pair so well with aquariums, especially planted tanks. So if you go with a freshwater tank, having a couple plants around that thing is just going to look great. And even with saltwater tanks, even though they're from totally different biomes, uh, a couple plants around a saltwater tank like I have here in my fish corner look great. All right, piece of advice number four, go salty. Uh, a lot of people, they only stick to freshwater tanks because they think salt water is, you know, too expensive or too difficult. Uh, but saltwater tanks are not as hard as they used to be. There's been a lot of advances in the hobby that have really improved uh, the survivability of a lot of things in the saltwater trade. So for example, if you go with a freshwater tank, you know, let's say, let's say we start small. Let's say you have a small space like me, you get a 10 gallon tank, you put a couple plants in there, you put a couple fish in there, and you're just done. You know, you can't do anything else with it. Whereas with a saltwater nano tank, like I have here, the fun is extended. You know, with a saltwater tank, 
You can add corals, you can add shrimp, starfish, anemones, you know, the list goes on and on and on. With a 10 gallon freshwater tank, you know, you put your stuff in there and you're done. Whereas with a saltwater nano tank, you know, there's always room for one more coral at least. And if you think, you know, I don't know how to do a saltwater tank, if you're new to that side of the hobby, you're in luck because that's what this whole channel is all about. Uh, it's just beginner level saltwater stuff. And all of my videos, they come with a free resource. And I'm for real about this. A lot of people think I'm joking. Uh, they come with me. And you can get a hold of me on Instagram and the YouTube comment sections. I'm super easy to get a hold of. If you ever have a question about a saltwater tank, I really do love helping out. So just give me a shout. Uh, give me a message on Instagram. Drop a comment below. And I'll get back to you pretty quick. I'm really easy to get a hold of. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, it was a really fun video to make because um, I have a really unique setup here in the fish corner. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget, free resource here. Follow me on Instagram, drop a couple comments below with questions. Also, you know, let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, I do videos every week, so I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and don't forget, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.